Hi everyone. All right, so we're coming up on winter seasonal holiday gatherings, and if you haven't realized it already, those can be pretty stressful for your pups. Uh, so I wanted to talk to you real quick about some things you can do to make sure your dog feels safe and comfortable when you have people over. All right, so one thing I have been getting asked a lot lately is what do you do to keep dogs from jumping on people when they come in? And that's tough. Uh, you want to say hi to your friends and family, and your dog is trying to get in the middle of things. So what do you do about it? One thing that will really help is if you give your dog something else to do. When someone comes in, ask your dog to sit or lay down, or you can send them to a mat or a bed or something like that. You can even have your dog on their leash when people come in, so if you need to, you can move them out of the way. Giving your dog an alternative to jumping is the key because dogs are bad at not doing things. So you can't just ask them not to jump, because if you do, their brain goes, okay, I'm not jumping, now what? And if they don't have something else to do, they will go back to jumping. Now what definitely won't help is if you inadvertently make it into a game. So if your dog does jump, pushing them off or making lots of noise won't discourage them. It'll actually make it more exciting, so they'll keep doing it. Instead, what you can do is teach your dog an off cue. That way, even if your dog does jump, you have a way of letting them know to try something else. The way you do it is that when your dog jumps, you say off in a calm, even tone, and then you gently show them where the floor is. You don't push, you don't shove, you don't make any loud noises, you just gently put your dog back on the floor. And then, when all four of their paws are back on the ground, ask them to sit or lay down, and when they do, you reward them for doing the alternative behavior. And that is the important thing. And I know I said it before, but it really is important. Rewarding them for doing the right thing is clutch. Now, obviously, you will need to practice this off-cue in calm situations. Trying to make it happen during the excitement of people arriving will only result in frustration for both you and your dog. So then, what do you do if your dog is just so excited they can't control it? Um, honestly, the best thing in that case would be for you to keep your dog out of the way when people start showing up. Uh, think about it. When people arrive, it's one of the most exciting times of a gathering. People are saying hi, shaking hands, they're hugging, they're high-fiving, uh, they're probably talking loud, they're moving a lot. It's really exciting for a dog, which makes it hard for them to practice any sort of impulse control. So instead, when people get there, just have your dog out of the way. Let them be calm in another part of the house. And then, when people have settled, maybe they're sitting down, they've had some food, maybe a drink or two, that's when you can let your dog back out to mingle among the much calmer crowd. Alright, so we've talked about how to help your dog handle being among people, but you also got to keep in mind that being among lots of people for long periods of time can be difficult, even for the most social dogs. So it's absolutely imperative that if you're going to have people over, you have a place where your dog can go to get away from the action. Uh, that place should be somewhere your guests won't go, so definitely make sure it's not the bedroom where you're throwing all the coats. Uh, make it super comfortable. Make sure it has places to lay down and some water. You can even give them a puzzle toy or Kong or something while they're in there so they have something to work on uh, and help them relax. And make sure when your dog's in that place, nobody bothers them. Nobody goes to see them. They get to stay there as long as they like. It's their space. And you got to communicate that to your guests. People want to say hi to your dog. But if your dog is in their safe space, you need to make sure that your guests, whether they're adults or kids, nobody goes to bother them. But the flip side of that is that dogs aren't always great at knowing when they need to retreat to a safe space. Um, they're not always great at knowing when they're getting overstimulated. So it's on you to keep an eye on your dog. Uh, if you notice they're starting to get really amped up, just gently bring them to their safe space so they can chill out. Uh, this is another reason why it might be a good idea to have them drag their leash around. Uh, that way, when you need to take them to their safe space and, and have some chill time, you can do it really easily. Um, all right, and that is where I'm going to leave it, folks. Uh, so have a great holiday if you celebrate anything. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, pet your dogs for me.